everyone, welcome to China Talk. Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games are coming, and this year, 2022, also marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and Armenia. Today, our program is so privileged to have invited Armenia Ambassador to China, Mr. Sergei Menasarian, to share his comments on the pandemic prevention and control measures and other preparations made by China for the Winter Games, as well as his expectations of the future development of bilateral relations between China and Armenia. Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. I'm very happy to have you today in our program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for coming and thank you for this possibility. It is a great honor for me. You know that Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games are just around the corner. So how would you comment on the preparatory works and the efforts done by China, including the pandemic control and prevention measures? So how would you comment on that? Uh, the issue of uh, Beijing Winter Olympic Games is very interesting. Uh, uh, we saw everything by our eyes as a diplomats who are working here. Uh, and the, the preparation work started, if I write, in 2015. It was the strong competition, but Beijing won. And since 2015, the preparation work started. Of course, of course, uh, at least approximately two years, all the works uh, were in the very hard situation after the pandemic now but again we fixed fantastic results really fantastic results because due to the activity of the state protocol of the ministry for foreign affairs we visited different objects stadiums compounds hotels and other infrastructure constructed special for the olympic games it was fantastic in in beijing and in Jiangjiakou also so, uh, beside that, beside that, I, I would like to underline that uh, the, the life conditions for the athletes and the other participants of uh, the Olympic Games are very comfortable, because I saw the hotels and other objects also. If we are speaking about pandemic, this is a, a separate question. Of course, the spending of the Olympic Games during the pandemic is not easy, at least not easy. And that is why all of us, we are under the very strong uh, regulations. Regulations, the main focus and main goal of this regulation to save the health conditions of the all participants, all the athletes and other members of the delegation of the Olympic Games. That is why we are really understand the position of the Chinese side. I also can use this today's possibility as stressed that for all of us it's necessary to respect uh, the Chinese side measures for uh, this very strong regulation because, again, the main goal of the regulation is to save health conditions of all the members, uh, national teams, athletes and delegations. So do these works and efforts made by China for the Winter Games live up to your expectations? Mm, expectations. Very interesting, of course. So, if we are speaking about the again uh, Beijing Winter Olympic Games, it's necessary to fix that uh, these games will be the first in our history, green and uh, environment friendly Olympic Games. This is fantastic, and uh, this is a result and bright illumination of, of the Chinese side uh, achievements, technological achievements. This is a fantastic. So that is why we are waiting opening ceremony of the Olympic Games as well as the closing ceremony. By the way, thank you very much for the state protocol. The ambassadors already received the invitation for that. We are waiting for the fantastic, spectacular show for that. If we are speaking, continue to speak about the Olympic Games, my expectation and uh, what, what I uh, waiting from the Olympic Games, for example. First of all, I am waiting the strong and very interesting uh, competitions. I am waiting uh, the objective refereeing. I am waiting the fair place. And I am waiting, of course, as ambassador of Armenia, the successful participation of the Armenian athletes. <laughs> and I hope and believe that the Beijing Winter Olympic Games will be 
100% successful and safe. You know that under the background of the global outbreak of COVID-19, hosting and preparing an Olympic game are under great pressure. So uh, in this occasion, what's your definition of the success of these Olympic Winter Games? The main principles of the Olympic movement of, or Olympism is, is the participation, first of all. And uh, Chinese side created uh, the 100% comfortable conditions for all the delegations for participation. Because everything is not easy now, even the traveling. So, since the first step, until the end of the Olympic Games, everything is planned and everything is set. The athletes and the members of the delegation will live in the comfortable loops under the 24 hours medical control. So this is the most important for all of us. What we are waiting and uh, what my point of view from the Chinese side measures for preparation, the Chinese side focuses in the attention mostly on a health conditions. And this is a only just way, just uh, decision for the successful spending the Olympic Games. So safe is always the priority. Yes, yes. in our life without, without the creation that 100% uh, safe conditions, it's impossible to speak about the successful sporting competition. There are some Western countries calling for the so-called diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympic Winter Games, trying to link human rights and other political issues with the sports. So what's your take on that? Mm -hmm. The boycott, any different kind of boycott of the Olympic Games is not something new or some know-how in our modern life. If I write the first uh, political boycott will take place in 1920 during the Antwerpen Olympic Games. And after that, not every four years, but at least every eight years, we will face the same situation. So nothing, not some, not, not some news for that. But if we are speaking about the political boycott or diplomatic boycott, let's look at the Olympic Charter. One of the main principles of the Olympic movement of Olympism is a strongly separation sports from politics. This is a obvious and this is a fixed in the charter. And from the other side, for the uh, full implementation of freedom and rights of the all participants, the principles of Olympism fixed the strongly refusing the idea of any kind of political boycotts of discriminations, including diplomatic boycotts. So, if we are speaking about uh, diplomatic boycotts, uh, this is uh, not the boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympic Games, because the Beijing is just the place for the Olympic Games. This is a boycott of the main principles of the Olympic Charter. This is my question and this is obvious by my point of view. So it's just an event for sports fans and the athletes. The sport is sports. Uh, the sport is an additional bridge between nations. Yes. According to the other principles of the uh, fixed in Olympic ch Charter, uh, the sports must be jointed to the culture and education. This is a different direction. So that is why that is why the Olympic Charter strongly recommended or strongly separated sports from the politics. This year, 2022, we will also celebrate the establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries, that is the 30th anniversary. Yeah. So, how would you assess the current relations between China and Armenia? So, 30 years ago, we started from zero with our Chinese friends and partners. Before that, uh, our relation with China was under the umbrella of the Soviet Union. 
Uh, and the ties between two nations were fixed since uh, the ancient period of our time. But the diplomatic relations were established 30 years ago. Now, if we uh, look at the 30 years way, uh, we can fix a lot of achievements. A lot of achievements in different uh, field of our activities. Education, science, uh, trade, economy, etc., etc., etc. The relation with China for us is uh, one of the important points in our uh, foreign policy. And together with our Chinese friends, we will do our best for straightening it. Uh, so, we have the very good level of friendly rela relation based on a mutual trust and again we will do our best for straightening and uh, go forward. Go forward, uh, we have uh, the huge potential, we have a good, 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 good potential in different fields, particularly in economy and waiting uh, the end of the time of pandemic for activization. So looking back, we have achieved fruitful results in the past three decades between China and Armenia. And looking forward, what's your anticipation of the future development of relations between China and Armenia? Okay, uh, so as I, as I uh, told you, we have a lot of achievements. But if we are speaking about the potential and the future development, I would like to focus my attention to the economical ties, of course. We have not bad results. We have not bad, bad results in turnover, for example, but we are waiting for Chinese investment also. We would like to express our appreciation for the Chinese site assistance, but we need the mutual, mutual benefit business. This is where we are waiting for that. We have a lot of achievements in the field of the education, but we need to straighten it also. Uh, for example, so we are waiting for the Chinese students in Armenia more and more. So we want to see the big, uh, bigger quantity of Armenian students here. We are uh, waiting for the to creation possibility for uh, our peoples to read uh, the national literature, to show the national movies to show a lot of documentary uh, about our countries. So to be closer and closer. So there are so many fields for us to cooperate. A lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so do you have any good wishes too and expectations of this year's Olympic Winter Games? <laughs> Uh, so, for Olympic Games, I already told you about that. We are waiting uh, for opening ceremony of the Green Olympic uh, Games, the first in our modern history. We are waiting the very interesting competitions. We are waiting objective referings. We, 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 are, waiting, we are waiting for the successful participation of Armenian side. And we hope and believe uh, that Beijing Winter Olympic Games will be one of the best in the history of the Olympism. So, if we are speaking about my wishes, first of all, I would like to express uh, my appreciation to the organizers for their very, very difficult memories for the preparation works. It was very difficult, but they did it. Thank you very much for that. I, and I wish to them that uh, the world will see the results of their work and express their appreciation also. For the athletes and participants, I would like to uh, wish to save the health conditions, first of all. Uh, and I'm sure the organizer will do their best for that. And I also to, would like to wish them the good results, close to the world records. We know that the opening ceremony of Beijing 2022 Olympic Games will happen to be held during Chinese Spring Festival. So do you have any good wishes to say to your Chinese friends? Uh, our New Year already in past, but we are waiting uh, the Chinese Konim New Year or uh, Spring Festival. This is the most important festival for the Chinese all over the world, inside and outside of China. Uh, so, uh, the tiger is coming. Uh, we are waiting year of tiger. And I would like, uh, today I would like to wish to all uh, Chinese people, to the Chinese nation, all the best in soon coming uh, tiger 
your 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 of tiger all the bells health prosperity and health uh, be happy be happy and also also i would like to wish to all of us that the year of tiger will be the first year for the after pandemic period we hope so yeah. thank you so much for your insight for ideas thank you very much for uh, this meeting believe me we are open and ready for any kind of discussion anytime